If I'm in Queen Street Mall in Brisbane, and I'm brandishing a knife, and two police officers have their guns trained on me and are telling me to drop the knife, and then I continue to advance on the officers with my knife out, what do you think will happen? I'll get shot, of course. I'm a white guy. I'm an Australian. If I'm stupid enough to approach armed police officers with a knife, I really should only expect one result. The same thing happened to Walter Wallace, a black man in Philadelphia, on October 26. He approached armed officers with a knife drawn, was told to drop the knife, but continued to advance on the officers and was consequently shot. In response, people are labelling this a racial attack. Protests, looting and rioting broke out in Philadelphia where protesters, if you can call them that, hurled bricks and rocks at police where 30 police officers were injured. One female sergeant was intentionally run over. Luckily for her, she's in a stable condition with only a broken leg. Apparently, Walter Wallace had mental health issues and was on medication, but obviously we can't possibly expect the police officers to know that at the time. Some people are saying that the police should have used a taser, but these situations are very dynamic. Ideally, police officers should use the minimum amount of force required to neutralise the threat. It's easy to say afterwards, oh, you should have used a taser. But when you've got somebody advancing towards you with a knife in their hands, only several feet away from you, your life is on the line. A taser isn't always effective, and if it failed, you'd be dead on the street. It's easy to be an armchair critic, but the police officers reacted exactly as expected. If you don't want to get shot, you shouldn't be approaching police officers brandishing a knife. The result is obvious in my opinion. Enough said. <laughs>